Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. Most people in America recognize that they have to do this by learning a trade, improving a skill, developing a talent, and getting employed ever still. You see, if we're really clear with children about how our parents pay for the food on the table, the roof over one's head, the shelter, if you will, from the rain and the storms of life, then children start to produce a better regard for their parents' finances. There is nothing that is harder than a person who is an educator, who has studied the training of children to a point that is beyond defensive when they see a parent who is too immature to be a parent. It does happen all across America, and it is a total failure of the original parents who failed to teach their child sex education. You see, sex education is a beyond just having a good time and enjoying your loins and feeling good. Sex education is regarding the fact that having a child takes major independence, major responsibility, major finances, major expenses, major emotional capability, major spiritual understanding, and major psychological capabilities, major training for how to be a good parent, not only in how to provide proper food that allows the child's mind to develop into a proper good mood, instead of feeding them junk food all the time or starving them because you're too lazy to pick up a fucking book and read what is the proper food for a baby at any period of time. So that they're not malnourished, so that they're not under under nutrition, underweight, and under, well, how do we say it? Impoverished mind. You see, everything you do around a child, from the music that you play, to the clothes that you prepare, to the way that you behave in front of your own friends and family, creates that child's future. So you need to decide, am I creating a future for my child based on my behavior, or am I creating a, a monster in the world because of my own behavior that's so immature that people in line are offended by who I am and what I represent? You see, in life we do have to be somewhat cognizant of society around us. We have to be somewhat understanding of our own notoriety, meaning the bad reputations that we create for the wasted time of life we have spent. But there are people who work in retail, who are so desperate for power over other people at the immature ages of 21, 22, 23, 29, that they do not recognize their corporations, they do not recognize the vendors that they represent, they do not represent or recognize the leadership of their organizations, and they do it all in a way that makes them spent. You see, if you start to regard your job as an extension of other people and a larger team and a huge volume of financial relationships, then you might do your job better. In essence, if you work in retail, let's break it down to the stupidest and simplest of terms. You are a motherfucking brand representative. You're more than a cashier. You are representing millions of dollars, sometimes billions of dollars, in sales between your organization and other corporations. So you don't have the right to have a pissy day. You don't have a right to have a gay faggot day. You don't have a right to be, a, be have a girly bitchy day. You don't have a right to be rude to any customer in any way. Because not only are you misrepresenting yourself in your theft of other people's time, socializing on their company dime, but you also have failed yourself in recognizing that your own career path is being ruined by your attitudes and lack of gratitude for the customers in your shop. Because those customers help to pay for your paltry hourly wage. And those customers help to handle your life and get you to engage. But if you want to get yourself into a better paying job, if you want to have the money to buy a car, if you want to have your opportunity to live in a better place, if you want to do something that will get you better engaged, then you have to be willing to grow yourself, 
Teach yourself, train yourself in every way, which just might mean giving up stupid television every day. It might mean getting online and watching YouTube videos about how to be better in customer service, how to become a manager, how to become a supervisor. Because I hate to tell you, honey, that the only way you increase your money is by being able to manage people, time, and money. You see, a shop should never be depleted of its resources. What that means is that the company is understaffed and is underemploying its people or overemploying its people doing the wrong things. Now, I'm not an expert, but people expect to go into a shop and find the food stock of the shelves stocked because that is their experience pretty much across most places that provide retail services. That the store is not depleted and not totally shopped through. And if that's the case, then you're not doing your job in terms of communicating to vendors, and that's your due.